Hello, welcome back. Today we are continuing with our discussion on Listia and today in particular we have another survey and this survey is on the watching of videos for Listia credits. So we watched a crap ton of lousy videos on Listia to earn credits and we've done a survey on it. And you know what I'm talking about where it's like earn credits or get credits and you go to the page where it says watch videos for credits and there are four categories. You have by rule, Matamy, Radium 1, and Trial Pay. Now, I'll tell you right off, the latter two, Radium 1 and Trial Pay, we've never seen a video in there. Uh, we did this for a couple of months, and nobody from either of our computers was able to ever find a video in, under those two headings. So there's nothing to review. It's zero. Zero percent. The next one is Matamy which looks like this. Matamy, I watched a hundred videos over or tried to over a two day period. 100 videos and then I just stopped. 100 was enough because only 12 of them worked. I either got this prompt which basically says that the video is no longer available or I got a video and watched it and got nothing. So Matamy is a total waste of time. 12% success rate equals 88% failure. 88% failure out of 100. 88 out of 100 either did not open or did not work. Total waste of time. Now the big one that we did was the by rule. By rule most of the time works and we watched a thousand of these videos. 720 of them paid off. 280 of them failed. That is a 28 percent failure. 280 out of 720 is 28% of 1,000 for the demographic. So 28% failure on viral videos. Now, 84 of those that did not play required an additional action for the credits to be released that was not originally implied by Listia. And that is not fair. Basically, after you watch the video, it said in order to get your credits, they want you to subscribe to the YouTube channel. They want you to subscribe to Facebook, somebody's Facebook page. They want you to join a website. They wanted you to provide access to your web camera and video files. And interestingly enough, the ones that wanted you to access, wanted to grant access to your camera and video and data files were the political candidate um, videos. Hillary Clinton, Ted Cruz, you know, whoever, political candidates. I don't know why they want to break into your computer and access your camera and do all this other crap. I don't trust that. And you shouldn't have to do those things. The rule is, Listia Im implication, is that you watch the video, you get credits. It doesn't say to do all this other crap. So I wouldn't do it. So 84 of the 280, they wanted me to do something stupid. Now, 67 of these videos out of the 1,000 were inappropriate. And I'm just, this is just on the side here. It, it videos that made me feel like that perhaps um, Listy is not screening these videos or not paying close enough attention to what is being put on the viral channel. I saw videos that were sexually explicit, um, lesbians going at each other, upskirt videos, cockfights. Eric got a lot of cockfights from South America, and I mean literally like roosters in a pit tearing each other's guts out. Um, and this was done over the course of a couple of months, and it was done also in December, and during December there were all through the month of December, off and on, there were videos from the Church of Satan um, singing anti-God, anti-Christ, and anti-Christmas carols. And this is from a website that won't let me put up a card for Dick Butkus. 
D Dick Butkus, the famous football player. And I get, when I put the card up, it says D star, star, star Butkus, because I can't put the word Dick or the name Dick, even though that's his name. And it says Dick Butkus on the card. They won't let me do that, but they'll let the uh, Church of Satan sing about how uh, Jesus Christ is evil and let you watch cockfights and lesbians sucking each other's breasts. I can see that, but I can't put Dick Butkus. Thanks a lot, Listia. Also, there were an additional 86 videos that did not play at all. You opened it up and it was blank. And I didn't count those as part of the thousand. I left those out of the statistic. Um, <laughs> additionally, and this is another side note, these videos only pay 25 credits. See now, Listia went through this whole thing, and we talked about this last week, where you can now sell your credits back to Listia, and there's a sliding scale, and the more you slide the scale, the more worthless the credits are, basically. And at the time that I'm doing this, it reads 8,200, 8,200 credits equals $1 as of the time of filming this. So it's gone down again. And since Listia does not apply that rule to themselves, because they have never made an adjustment to the value of the credits that they pay out to people for completing offers or watching videos, the videos are still only worth 25 credits a piece. And in order at 8,200 credits equaling a dollar, in order to make even a single dollar, you would have to watch 1,640 viral videos to make $1. So I watched a thousand of these videos. I got 720 to work to give me my, uh, to, or us to give us our 25 credits per view. And we didn't even make a dollar between us in two months. So ultimately it is not worth it to even try to watch a single video on Listia at this point at the val current value, how it continues to drop. It continues to fail the listier dollar, listier value continues to fail, it is not worth it to even attempt to watch videos or complete any of their offers anymore. And we also attempted, we were going to do a statistic on filling out offers for videos. We had way too much trouble with it. They want way too much information. They flood your email and most of them don't give you the credits anyway. We got through about a dozen of them and after getting like 50 emails from all these offers it was like enough we're, we're done with this so there will be no statistic on that one it's too much of a hassle but since listia does not follow its own rule when it comes to the current value of credits it is not worth it to do any of their surveys or watch any of their videos anymore that's my advice on the subject. You can watch them if you want to. I don't recommend it. Like I just explained, you would literally have to watch 1,640 videos at this point to even get the equivalent of $1 in credits. That is just pitiful. It's absolutely pitiful. Anyway, I hope this has been informative. I hope uh, it's been helpful. I don't think anybody else is bothering to evaluate any of this stuff on Listia. It's a shame. It's a shame because we're basically watching Listia collapse. It's going the way of swap treasures and many other token economy systems that have been set up for online trading and online bartering. So it's only a matter of time. If they don't make a change, and stabilize, you know, maybe even if they got rid of the sliding bar and then just made a staple value that the credits are always the same value and get rid of the sliding scale even, it might save them. Otherwise, it's just going to continue to drop off. I'm, I'm hardly participating anymore. Eric and Warren are out. They haven't been in there in weeks and weeks. Um, and I'm finding less and less. You know, it used to be a time where I'd have 60 things on my watch list. I've got like maybe eight things in it now because there's just 
less interesting things coming up. People are being more cautious. And there's, I think there's less trading. It's easier to buy the credits than it is to go through the trouble of listing things now. And I think that's ultimately going to ruin the site. We'll see. Anyway, thanks for watching and hope to see you again soon.